Hello, everyone. Pretty sure everything's not muted. <laughs> All right. Let me turn down the music a little bit. Just a tiny bit. Okay. Couple updates. Start things out. Uh, went on a journey. I tried to find some more elytras uh, yesterday, and I did not find any. Uh, I guess I got really lucky the first time I went in. I didn't even find the city. Uh, there's also a couple changes. That being, I have a new skin. Which is closer to my avatar. Let's get these out of my hands. Okay. Alright, so this is a lore and business stream. So the server I'm currently on is the Ender SMP. And as far as I'm aware, the lore has been a little lacking. Or at least the, the lore that is disclosed to the rest of the server inhabitants. So allow me to spearhead this a little bit. And one moment. Okay. Okay, so starting now, we're going into RP mode. I'm going to give you a history lesson. My name is Kraft, and I've been exploring this world in search of a community. And after surviving night after night of the wilderness, I have come across many villages that spoke of others that live across the ocean. So I built a boat and sailed across said ocean. That ocean was rough to traverse, and many of my items were lost before being shipwrecked. A vicious storm had taken hold of my boat and wedged it into a mountain pass. There were others like myself living nearby this mountain. They offered food and supplies and access to their market. I lived amongst them for a brief period, but this was only a remote colony. There was no community, there were others to find out in the world. I ventured forth from their location into the nether, finding their road that bridges the overworld to make their journeys faster. It is there after exiting the nether portal and going back into the overworld that I met a wolf girl that was eager for adventure to relieve their boredom after coming out of the nether portal and the people living nearby appeared to be out on their own adventure. On this adventure we went by ocean as well and we discovered a remarkable island and claimed it as ours. We reclaimed this land from the wild from the monsters that had inhabited it. And from there a community has formed, and I must protect and nurture it. And that is the start of my journey. So now that this community has been established, and plots have been sold, well, oh, oh, I am a DM, so I have to do that every week. <laughs> now that we, we've guaranteed people are destined for this island, we have one person that's moved in, or at least made an attempt to move in, but the island is, is void of life. We need to see more here. We need to 
make this land thrive. We've moved in various villagers, none of which I can speak their language. It is all gibberish to me. As you can see, they live here in style. They are not held against their will. They can open that gate whenever they please. And this door, all they have to do is press the button, but they choose not to leave of their own accord. They have chosen to live in that apartment, and so they shall stay. Our island has many amenities. We have various animals with an open range. They are able to look at the sun as much as they wish. It is not because the barn is incomplete. And our chickens. They have their own little nest here. They also can look at the sun as much as they wish. We also have one that likes to live under the stairs. See? He just laid an egg. However, we have many residents that have not claimed their land yet. We have a mountain with no visitors or homes amongst it. We have an aquarium that only has two fish because there are only two residents on the island. And someone has stolen our second fountain pet. It also appears someone has stolen a tiny hole from the roof of my house. <laughs> We have land plots over here that have also been claimed. This is supposed to be a house, and this is supposed to be a shop. So we'll have to give a warning to the people that they are not making use of their land. As such, I have created A plan. So here's the plan. I must collect materials for signs, books, and travel. I must then use said materials to travel and create billboards in the overworld, the nether, and the end. Step three is to litter the world with books for Foxhound Island. I will deliver said books to the people that uh, have already bought land, as well as those who have not. And then, in addition to that, in addition, I forget. <laughs> I had it and I forgot. I can only plan so far, guys. Only so far. Alright, so I think we have some of the materials that we need in here. We have a copy. We don't want copies, though. we want the original. The original book. I have safely stored in an ender chest it is out of reach of all the things that we need the most of are going to be wood because we need to make billboards now something I could do is make part of the billboard out of something else so something that sticks out a bit. Alright, 
right, so here's the original book. I'll take that. We'll make copies of it. But then I need to look through the stuff that I have and find... I guess endstone would stick out in the nether. Actually, let's just put everything that we're going to take in here. And then we got tons of wool. I can make some banners. Now, unfortunately, I can't make a good box banner because we don't have... I don't have a creeper head, which you need to make, like, the right banner. Banners are a little tricky. You have to do a lot of stuff to mess with them. We do amethyst as well. We'll do amethyst in the the end. Let's see, we got ink sacks, we got feathers, we got paper. Now we could make some glowstone and use that. I wonder how many of these I have left. While I'm aimlessly looking for things, how are you, Owo? <laughs> oh yeah, I was also going to make some potions. Pretty good. You've been doing more of your crafts. It's cold, so it makes you slower, so you can't run away. Can't run away from the dentist if you can't run. <laughs> now, I had a couple ideas of stuff I could do. We'll start off with some of the simple stuff. You know, something achievable. So each of these axe models I wonder if I can put the coordinates on here too. <laughs> Let's see, what were the coordinates? Oh yeah, it's not in this book. It's in this book. 1,010, 1,060. <laughs> Is this too much? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think you could do this, but you can. <laughs> Look, they let they let you do it in the game, so it must be allowed, right? We get an extra advertisement if they kill it. <laughs> the shame I can't just copy it. I'll be honest. I just now came up with this. I didn't think this was going to work. Alright, so we got axolotls, so that'll be our advertisement as well. <laughs> I 
I love that. That's so ridiculous. Let's see, I can make six books. <laughs> That's exactly what they are. They're perfect. Ah, crap. I don't remember which one of these is my my other book. Did I accidentally overwrite my book? Nope, there it is. Wait. No, this is my book. Do not overwrite that one. <laughs> hey, Painless. Enjoy your dorm packing. <laughs> you got an oh, you got your own adventure to go to. Okay, so I'll put the original book away. Store it safely. No one else is on, so I can sleep. As you can see when I when I jumped on, we had a, a waving contest. Alright. Now something we can do is I can store some of these things in shulker boxes. And maybe I could put a separate note in there that says please return shulker box or you owe us money. <laughs> Look, I am a traveler and a merchant. As you can see, I own three llamas. Look at these fancy llamas. They guard my house whenever I'm away. We're also a obtainer of four dragon heads. Not a slayer, an obtainer. <laughs> it's an important distinction. Let's see, I was going to start making some potions. They're very good guards. They spit at you. No one's get spit on. They were traded. A merchant came by and he left them for me. They were gifts to the great merchant. Let's see, I got a decent amount of wood. Make one more of those. I think 15 ought to be enough. We got big plans, but not crazy plans. Depending on who you ask. Let's see, we'll take we'll take that much. Scaffolding just in case I need it. I don't need more books. I don't plan on making any more books. As much as I want to make the potions right now, I'll probably just make a couple. Eh, well, might as well just make everything we need. I was gonna make a couple slow fall potions and a couple fire protection potions. Can I use this? I can. That's perfect. Of course, I don't have a brewing stand up there. It's down here. Uh, I should probably put my silk touch pickaxe away. 
stop using that on everything. And of course, I literally forgot to grab one of the main ingredients that you need. That is blaze rods. Wait. I have potions. Let me just take these. We'll do other potion stuff later. We got speed, slow fall, health, speed. That should be good. And I got plenty of food, obviously. Let's store some of that in there. Oh, we don't need to bring the water bottles. Actually, I could bring the water bottles, and we could put those in the shulker box as complimentary water. <laughs> I was about to say, where'd the other three go? But I forgot to put them in here. Okay, we got six books and we got six bottles of water. We got four axolotl advertisements. We have blocks to make a couple billboards. And by billboard, I, I really do just mean like a sign. Uh, unfortunately, there's, it's too much of an investment to build like a, a pixel art billboard that's like 100 blocks by 100 blocks. That's a bit much. <laughs> We'd be here, like, until morning, building one of them. And I don't know about you, but I don't got that much time. Should I bring any of this with me and just give it to people? No, I'll, I'll save it. Can't be overly generous. This stream is dedicated to lore and to business. Okay. I need to put some of this stuff away. I'll leave my book. I should leave my book in my ender chest if I have space, which I already know I don't. And I could take this out. It's not very valuable. I mean, it is and isn't. So I'll make... How many of these do I have? All right, I'll make six shulker boxes. And those will be the ones I hand out. I already have a surplus of these, so if anything, I'm just helping people out by giving them these. And now, thank, thankfully, you can keep track of which ones have stuff. Put that away. And put that away. Alright, I think I got, like, everything. Where did my elytra go? I put it in the box. I bet I put it in the box. Am I blind? No, I don't have it on me. <laughs> Where did I put that thing? Oh, there it is. I don't know why I put it in there. All right, good enough. I had contemplated using bees as well, but I don't have nearly enough, and it would be a big effort to try and breed a bunch of bees. It would take a couple hours, because you have to wait until like a certain amount of time to breed them again. All right, so we got gifts. This is the stuff. I have to go through the nether, 
which is why I'm taking fire resistance with me. And I also need to build some ladders because the the path keeps getting broken. So we'll do a bit of good deeds as well. We will repair the path. I'm trying to make use of all these blocks we have just sitting around. Wait, there's sticks. Put these away. Put my shield on. Oh yeah, I didn't really go over this very much. So I gave you my intro, my my lore. Uh, as you can see, you've already noticed. Uh, I've updated my player model to match or try to match uh, what I'm currently using as my model as well as what I think I'll have in a couple weeks time as my new 2D model. So I gave him some nice clothing to wear as you can see. I think I did a pretty decent job. Not the best, not the worst. Alright, so I need about probably 20 or so. We'll just take whatever we can get. Yep, 24. That'll do. And we need more netherrack. We also have another copy of this book. Interesting. I think the server might have been patched since this woman was created. Because these should be the same. Sometimes the the item IDs get messed up after an update. So even if something is the same, it doesn't stack. So sometimes you'll have like amethyst that won't stack with amethyst. That's kind of the, the symptom of that. Alright, that should be good enough. We will sleep to make it day. Oh, someone's already living there. I think they have, I think this place is pretty much like at capacity. Oh, interesting. Wait, I don't want a fisher up here. You're supposed to be a, a librarian. I'm gonna have to get rid of these barrels. You know what? You don't get to sleep tonight. I do. Oh, apparently we had a party. <laughs> Alright. So, the nether is the first location. We'll repair the bridge. Or not the bridge, but the ladder. And then I'll put a sign up saying that the ladder was repaired and improved thanks to Foxtown Island and to give us a visit. And then I'll make a billboard on the road between the portals. I think Wolfie added more blocks to this. I don't remember it being 3D last time, but maybe it was. Hard to say. It's been a minute. <laughs> so if I'm right, assuming no one's fixed it, I think there's like a hole in the side of this. Oh, I think someone actually fixed it. Maybe. Nope. There's a hole in the side of this. It's perfect time. There we go. 
Here's a little advertising there. We'll even light it up. <laughs> that way, they'll actually read it. You know, everyone reads something that's a lit up sign, right? Alright, step number two is to fix this dang ladder. It's like so broken, like terribly bro uh, broken because it's open to the air. And since it's open, gas like to blow it up any chance they get. So we're gonna patch this thing up. And hopefully, people will stop letting it get blown up. We're doing a good deed. It's almost like penance for all the advertising we're about to do. <laughs> all right. Did not take as many ladders as I thought it would. But I probably will run out of blocks. Come on, no skeletons please. Thank you. No gas while I finish this please. You know, just asking the world for help. <laughs> Usually there's like two gas just waiting to blow this thing up. And of course I've never made a good bow, so I've, I've pretty much traveled without a bow the entire time I've been playing on the server. Alright, we'll put a nice little sign right here. Ladder repaired and uh, what's the right word for it? Protected? Safety proofed? I'm gonna say baby proofed. Courtesy of Foxhound Island. And of course, a torch to top it off. And then we'll do this. And of course, I don't have those in my active inventory. There we go. I'm definitely going to need more signs. I'm going through signs much faster than I intended. Wait, I still need that. Oh, I can't put that there. Yeah, we'll get rid of this one. I was going to put one of these... Oh, but then I can't open it. Right. There we go. Think that'll get their attention? <laughs> I think a shulker box and an end rod sticks out in the nether, right? Especially in this emptiness. Uh, let's see. So we put one book in. We put a complimentary potion of swiftness. And some water. There we 
we go. And we can you put a sign on this? Or will it not work? That's weird. <laughs> we are testing things tonight. We'll do that. Actually, I could probably put it right... No? Nope, you can't put a sign on an end rod. That's interesting. Test complete. <laughs> Uh, let's see, we'll do item for sale, shulker box. Uh, now we could sell them land. No. We'll charge them, I don't know, like three diamonds. And then they'll click on it and be like, oh look, it's stuff. <laughs> Don't want to forget this one. Can't forget my own. Alright, where is this? We are at 30275. 30275. All right, so we'll go to where this turns, and we'll create a billboard, and then we'll make another billboard later on. So right here. So here's the first one. I'll turn this into bricks, I think. I'll turn some of it into bricks. Some of it I'll keep as it is. Let's see, they'll be going this way. So we'll make it right here. We'll go up five. And then we'll go out and then on either side we'll have this like the whoops There we go. This is <laughs> turning out better than I thought it would. I think that's a pretty decent billboard. Now, how do I want to organize it? I guess we'll just do it in the middle. If I had, what do you need to make painting? I think it's just wool, right? I have wool in here, so I can make some paintings and throw them on there too. So I need sticks and wool. I'll go ahead and make some extras, because I'll definitely use them. Also put these potatoes away because I don't need them with me. I wonder if I put an axolotl down, will it go down? Can you put them in the nether? I guess we'll find out. Can I put him up here? <laughs> Uh, 
Okay, let's let's get this started. So I need eight of these. Lost track of my own blocks. Alright, we got paintings. Can you put glow uh, glow squid ink on these? Alright, Foxhound Island. 1010, 1060. Foxhound Island. 1010, 1060. Now, no one on the server can say that they've never heard about the island, because after tonight, everyone's going to know. Everyone. <laughs> can I put it on this? I cannot. Can I make this even glowier? I cannot. It's kind of hard to read. You gotta get real close. <laughs> it's kind of the opposite of what a billboard does, but uh, it definitely sticks out. If you're running on top of the nether and all you see is like barrenness and you see that. <laughs> we'll even put a couple signs up. Uh. No, I was going to make some signs pointing towards people's bases, but some people kind of share an area, so I don't want to like make it sound like it's their area. It was a thought, but I will not do that. Let's see if I can put this up there though. I can. Uh oh, is he going to dry out? No, he's, he's brown anyways. Now these things can stay out of water, can't they? I'm pretty sure they can. If not, we're gonna get a death message. <laughs> we got like the least colorful one to stick out to. Alright, we'll find out. If that thing dies, I'll be sad. For multiple reasons. And we'll put another one next to the, the next portal. Because we'll stop off in the next portal as I traverse into the end once more. And I'll drop off another another billboard over there. Like someone left a boat. Now, I might end up coming back at some point and adding billboards along this entire route. Like, I might even build like an entire road and then just have billboards along it. <laughs> I wish I brought my book with me. I would have wrote that down. Now, I would use my elytra and fly along this, but uh, I've done that before, and it's a little bit harder to keep track of things when you're flying, and it's very easy to get lost up here. Like if these blocks weren't placed, it, it'd be a little bit of a difficult encounter. But that's more reason to build an actual road up here. I can get a bunch of blocks of grass and dirt and just toss them down over here. And I'll just build like a, a long road between the portals. 
and since I have a surplus of iron, I can also build uh, rails that go between them. That way, you're actually like in a minecart on a road, passing billboards that all tell you to go to my island. And of course, some of them will say like, reserve your ad space here. <laughs> Now, unfortunately, until my community grows on the island, I can't do any events. We must nurture the island. We must bring it people. And once we have people, we can do events. And if people do not come, the marketing will progressively get more intense. And I don't think they'll like that. <laughs> yeah, we definitely need a rail. This, this, imagine it takes this long to get here, almost going straight there with no difficulties. And you have to travel the overworld to get here otherwise. I think it took probably a couple hours to get 16,000 blocks in the overworld. And it takes about 5 or 10 minutes to get from there to here with the nether. Mostly because you just don't have to deal with anything on the way. So this is the end portal. Uh, let's see. We'll build the billboard right here. Now, let's see. That's already two, three, four, five. I'll go three over. Two, three, four, five. I don't remember. I think I used bricks for the middle bit and then this then we got this we'll light it up man these end rods this is like the perfect use for an end rod I never thought about using them like this, but it works. Well, I have to make like a workbench or something out of these at my base. We'll put uh, another one right there. Put a book inside of it. Surround it. Hello, Amanda. I don't have a bunch of speed potions to use, so I'll just use water. My day was pretty good. Not on vacation anymore, so it's just pretty good. <laughs> I'm currently building billboards in the Ender server. You started school? That just means you're one day closer to being done with school. That's the attitude you should have about it.
60, 10, 10, 10, 60. <laughs> Two years of college and you haven't been on campus. A lot of people are asking for like refunds because of that. Because I mean a lot of the charges that they give you are because of the campus itself. Which I completely get. Like it's kind of, it's kind of a, a robbery to charge you for things that you don't have access to. Wait. Oh, I picked up the wrong one. Oh, I forgot. You just put it right back down. It already has everything in it. <laughs> I can actually pre-stage these if I want to, which I probably should. Uh, I think I have enough to do two of them. I have three here, two went in there, put one in here. We'll go with this and that. And we'll do the same thing over here. Alright, these are pre-staged. Advertisement 2 complete. If someone comes over and takes this, they'll have an ad. <laughs> now time to put one in the end. Now the one in the end, I feel like I should steal some of these blocks because making it out of end stones not going to be very visible in the end so we'll steal some of these blocks and we'll make it out of stone we have a little bit of moss too remember what thing <laughs> oh yeah that are you frame one to play Valorant with other people well did you do something or did you just let it drop <laughs> I mean, some people just don't talk for a while. Some friends you talk to daily, some friends you talk to weekly, some monthly, some yearly, some decadely. <laughs> I don't know if I have enough to make Stairs. I think I might. How's it complicated? Now, is it complicated or did you make it complicated? Because there'd be a difference. I mean, that's usually an indicator of things. <laughs> so he's mad, but he doesn't want to talk about it. 
I am out of blocks. I'm gonna have to go back through. Oh, I just remembered, going back through is gonna put me back near the bed. Well, I mean, stop talking to someone. Kind of a two-way thing if you both stop talking. Alright, we're going, we're going simple on this side. <laughs> It's okay, we got crack stone. It makes sense. <laughs> I mean, if he doesn't want to talk about it, then I'd drop it too. Clearly, he doesn't want to talk about it. <laughs> Really depends on how much you, you care about the friendship. We'll put this guy right in here. so long you can't even read it all right as you can see I've named a couple of the axolotls <laughs> cute little advertisements. Well, it's not quite Holy Land. Let's see, I need to make... I need to make a couple more... Um, the paintings. I like how I get like the the two by ones every time. Like I'm pretty sure you can get the other ones. Or is this shape just kind of stuck? Do I have to put it on the bottom? Yep, there we go. Of course that one doesn't really fit. Doesn't fit there. You know what, if we get it again, I'm just going to leave it. Yep, we're leaving it. <laughs> 10, 10, 10, 60. Then we make it glow. And of course, we leave one of our little care packages. <laughs> we got our little mobile missionary there. I 
if you can't guess, all of the endstone I got was from this strip. <laughs> I basically came in here and just mined straight, and then back, and then back. Because I need to get a bunch of endstone for my house. And I think this is Mario. I think he's working on making a, some kind of like torch farm, which is impossible to even do because he can't summon the dragon. It's like some weird farm thing. Now, unfortunately, I have to run back. However, this time I'll fly. We're still in this man's bed again. We're going to continue spreading word of the island. Now I must make deliveries to each of the bases. And I roughly know where people live. I was given coordinates. I'll have to go grab my book. I was given coordinates on, I think, the last stream for Wolfie's base, which is where a couple of them are kind of settled. So we'll fly out that way and deposit a couple of these books and also build a billboard, which means I need more of that end stone. It's actually kind of a good thing it drops us off over here, because I have a couple more stacks of it over here. Interestingly enough, you don't have to smelt it. You can just turn it straight into uh, endstone bricks, which is kind of nice. I also did a lot of farming, as you can see. I was repairing my gear and also just accumulating ender pearls. Unfortunately, there's not really a lot you can do with ender pearls, so. I mean, you can throw them. And that's about it. Well, I guess you can make ender chests and stuff, but then you need blaze rods. Now. You might say, Craft, what if what if no one shows up to the island? What if you continue to advertise and no one shows up? What if they buy land and they don't make use of said land? And I have an answer to that. I'll be stockpiling reasons to come to the island. Said reasons will will remain a secret for now. They're a trade secret. And those reasons provide extra reasons themselves. Once those reasons are made public, I don't think we'll have a problem getting people on the island. <laughs> but I'll be doing a bit of farming off stream and I'll be creating my reasons. <laughs> I can't do songs. It is against uh, streaming policy. You can't have it as part of your your stream unless you're doing like Twitch uh, Twitch singing. Time to fly. I need to go to 2,400, negative 4,200, which I believe is pretty much just this direction. Yeah, pretty much just this direction. So what song were you going to request? I obviously can't play it, but I also don't know many songs, <laughs> so I might not even know it.
Now what you should do is ask Koji to add it to his concert he's playing if it's something that he could sing. Yeah, he's doing a concert. He hit affiliate. I think it's supposed to be... I don't know. I don't know the date that he gave, but it's probably next month. Or towards the end of the month. There you go, Koji. Free advertising for you. <laughs> Hopefully his PC can hold up to it. Yeah, it's not very generous. He helped me quite a bit, too. When I was on my path to affiliate, quite a few people stuck around in chat, even if they weren't watching, just to help the numbers. Craft always pays his debts. Man, it's a long journey over here. I am so glad I have this elytra. <laughs> also, that is a tall mountain. It's not a very big mountain, but it is a tall mountain. I really need to get some beacons. Maybe that'll be like the next tier of advertising. I'll get a bunch of beacons and just start littering the place with giant beacons. That would be like stage four marketing. <laughs> oh, this is a zombie village. That's cool. We'll stop over here for a second. Oh, it's already been looted. <laughs> That's not really a surprise, I guess. Although, can I take this? No. You have to, you have, to have like silk touch on something else. I don't have shears on me either. I don't think you can get silk touch on your sword. Not naturally, anyways. I feel like that's correct, but also that don't think it's correct. Alright, we're at the base. <laughs> Just slap a big billboard right on top of someone's house. <laughs> I'm tempted to do that. I kind of just want to slap a billboard right up here. Oh, that's perfect. I can add, <laughs> I can add my axolotl to, to, to this little area. They'll never know. One day they'll just be over here and be like, why is that one named? <laughs> oh, they have a mailbox. Well, you know what got you know what's gotta go in the mailbox, right? What you got up here? Oh, they're making their own market. I feel like I have to ask. <laughs> Blind market? <laughs> None of the villagers can see you. I 
Let's see, anyone else got a mailbox? That's a shop. Here's a portal. Maybe I'll just plonk it down over here. The problem is this is Wolfie's house, so I don't really need to put an ad there. Wolfie is part owner of the island, so she does not need reminded of the island. See, I don't understand the point of these tiny sugarcane farms. You get like two sugarcane an hour. Like, why automate it? You can just plant sugarcane right there, grab it all, and you got more than what this thing got in an hour. <laughs> I'm going to put an ad right here. <laughs> I think that might be too tall. Nope, that's correct. Got our stairs. No crafting benches. Man, there's a lot of axle owls over here. <laughs> I wonder if I can put one in there too. Is that open? It might be enclosed. It's enclosed. This is a nice little park. Just toss that right on there. That way they have to remove this first. <laughs> Let's see, I need four of these. don't have these in place yet. Alright, so I need probably about four paintings and four stairs. And then I have one more location that I have to visit, which is actually closer to home. So I don't know why I didn't go there first. Dang it. There we go. Of course, now I gotta get the top somehow. Ironically, the top of the billboard was easier to get. <laughs> don't ask me why. I'm actually going to have to go make some more books. I went through these surprisingly fast. So we'll get some more paintings. We'll throw those on there. a nice one over here. This one's going to be kind of harder to do. I'm going to steal some of this sand. And do that. And make it a little bit taller. <laughs> I should probably put this on the bottom and then add the sign on top. I 
I'm sure all of you have memorized these coordinates by now. 10, 10, 10, 60. And once more, Foxhound Island, 10, 10, 10, 60. Did I make the other side glow? I did. All right, we dropped off a billboard. Uh, I still need to drop off the axolotl. We're gonna put this in the pond. They have a lot of axolotls, so it'll be difficult for them to find it. But I think it'll be pretty funny when they do. We also stuffed one of our advertisements in that in that uh, that mailbox. All right, you get to go in here. <laughs> that one's named you. This one's named Bob. Cup. Jolly Steve. All right, so some most of these do have names, I guess. <laughs> You're gonna eventually come across ours. There's Bean. Small Maw, BB. <laughs> They're gonna go and, and like find all their axolotls and be like, "Why is this one named so long?" <laughs> all right, where to now? I think. I could go back through their portal here, but I don't really know the way back from the portal. I don't know, let's try it. Oh, it's over there. I think there's like a, a walkway between this portal and the other portal. So, I have a couple ideas for redeems. And I'll be working on those on the weekend, probably. But, while I am walking my way over here, I also, as you can tell, have a sub goal. Uh, at the end of said sub goal, I have decided I'll do a art stream. So I'll do like a drawing stream. And I'll probably do like requests in the chat. Part of it will probably be like redeems. So you can redeem a certain amount of points to get me to draw something. Stuff like that. Ah, here we go. Signs for places. We need to put a sign down that also says to go that way. For Foxhound Island. Now the unfortunate thing is most of the people that play, play in different time zones. I think some of them are in the eastern time zone, like myself, but they're also limited on when they can play. I think they typically play around the same time that uh, the majority of them do, which is like early a.m. slash afternoon. Mm -hmm. So people like myself are usually at work at that time, so I'm unfortunately not able to interact with them most of the day. Occasionally I'll see them on around my time, but that's usually them staying up way later than they should be, which is not uncommon. 
Now I think this is the road that leads to the other area. If not, I'll just retrace my steps. No, my luck is just, it's just gonna randomly end. It is made out of cobblestone though, so at least it should be like blast proof. And this is a really convoluted way to get there. It's kind of scenic though. In a kind of deadly way. <laughs> I'm gonna put this fire resistance in my hotbar. And if I run across any fortresses, I'll probably stop off at one of them. Where does this one go? There's a portal down there, but where does that go? I'm curious, but I don't know if I'm that curious. I know that's not the portal I'm looking for. Oh, there's a ghast. Get away, get away. Do not knock me off. <laughs> the portal I need is right over here. Or at least I'm assuming that, based on the glass. Because I've never seen a glass t uh, tube near the portal I came out of to begin with. I feel like I'm in like a... a hall of mirrors. Can't quite tell what's mirror <laughs> and what's uh... what's not. I think I need to finish closing that off. Let's go ahead and add a little more protection to that. I could put a billboard here, but we already got plenty of signs pointing towards the island. Don't you dare ghast. I thought. Oh wait, I actually need to go this way. I almost forgot. I was going to uh, the other area over here. At the top of this there's another portal that I usually skip. I completely forget that this portal even exists because I always walk past it. But there's a portal at the top of this ladder that I walked past earlier. And I need to go to the bases that are in that area. I've already delivered a book over there a couple times. At least twice, I think. Once myself and one by proxy. And I think we had some like loose loose commitments. But I'll deliver another one. Now I don't know where Shadow's base is. I was gonna have to deliver like a a rent late. <laughs> It's hard to deliver bills when you don't know where to deliver them. Mario's like completely a builder. His houses are like, he can sleep and then that's his house. <laughs> well I got some stuff going on over here. I forget where over here stuff's at. 
I've only been on this side of the, the server a couple times. I really need to repair this lightro too. Why is there an ender pearl just standing there? <laughs> I think one of their endermen died. Free gra uh, grass block though. We will construct another ad. Is that tall enough? Nope. Now it is. Man, these shelter boxes are so convenient. <laughs> Like, let me just store everything I need to take with me for building. It's honestly one of the best items they ever added to the game, I think. It's almost good enough that they didn't need backpacks. But I think they could still really do with backpacks. I just hope that they don't do that thing where you have to put the backpack in this slot. Because I hate that. Mods that do that, I never use them. Anything that takes away like your chest plate, not worth it. It's not worth it. There are mods that have like accessory slots though, and those do it correctly. I think we'll clear out some of this sand. Make it stick out a little bit more. At least this bit. We have just enough to make this last billboard. Whoops. Dang it. There we go. <laughs> we got there. Where did the other end round go though? Oh, there it is. Of course, once again, I've already used up all of the... All of the paintings. We'll go simple on this one, because I have a feeling this billboard is going to get torn down as soon as they see it. Now of course, not only am I getting these advertisements put in, I'm also scoping out the place. Never know when you need to know the layout of your neighbors. Right? You must know the people that you're selling to. That way you can sell to them easier. Now I only have one more bot, one more book. <laughs> Neutral zone. I thought they what kind of tree is this? But they they skinned the tree. They debarked it. I will leave the last shulker box. Actually, <laughs> I'm going to leave it in the school. I don't know when they'll find it, but uh, they'll find it. You know, this is learn helping to read. We'll help them read. 
<laughs> We're donating books to the school. There we go. We can give him some lanterns. <laughs> there we go. You know what? We'll throw some eggs in too. No reason. Just eggs. Actually. We could probably make a face out of it. It won't be a, a happy face, unfortunately, because there's not enough room to make a happy face. <laughs> it doesn't quite work. Unfortunately, it does not work. Not as expected. They need to make inventories more more vertical. Well, I have one more shulker box and nowhere good to put it. Man, it must have taken him a long time to build this. I will say it needs a little more decoration on the outside though. Could use, you know, a couple banners, could use some some bands across the wall to add some 3D depth. I wouldn't want to be the one in charge of building it though. <laughs> that would take some time for sure. That's the problem with gigantic builds. You need resources and you need time. Mostly time. And then building that out of deep slate yeah, that's going to take some time to get the resources and to use the resources. Well, I have everything I arrived with. Now we go back. I'll see if I can do a little more work on the island. Spruce it up a little bit more. And I also need to do some scouting in the in the nether. I need to find a fortress. I was trying to find out where this dang portal was at. <laughs> it's hidden in the hill. I have a lot of things to do on the server. I like how you can just barely see that in the distance. It's like, what is that? They'll definitely walk towards it. For multiple reasons. They might even miss this. Which is fine. We have so many signs all over the place. If they don't know about this island, then they are liars. Everyone knows about this island. <laughs> At this point. Now, what we really need, and something I have already available, how did this break already? How did that happen? Can you skip? You can't skip. So how did I miss that? I don't know how that occurred. I went too far. I'm so used to this being open. <laughs> the exit is right here.
we will put a sign down. It's kind of difficult to do on the ladder. There we go. Just in case there's any doubt at this point, you know, go that way. <laughs> and we'll toss these down there. The lantern. There we go. Make it stick out. Actually, no, the lantern gets in the way. We'll put the lantern here. Let the spooky lanterns light the way. So we got a little bit more time to kill. It was actually kind of surprised. Uh, it was a very, uh, very easy to put those all down. I have expected someone to be on the server tonight, which would have complicated things because they probably wouldn't follow me around. <laughs> So, in terms of things to do on the island, I have to finish the lighthouse. At some point, I'll probably add a roof onto the barn over here. I need to get a hold of Mario because he needs to finish this zombie XP grinder. As far as I'm aware, he's never finished it. Now something else I haven't factored in is that a lot of them are also back to school, like some of you. So it'll be a little more difficult to get people on the server at odd hours. I'll have to leave him a message on Discord. Be like, hey, where's the XP farm? <laughs> I also need to start probably outlining some of these other areas of the island. I have a nice little map at the front here that kind of showcases the island. So this land right here is owned by Neity, Boxman, and Senny. Uh, this plot, interesting, it doesn't show my house. That's weird. I wonder why it doesn't show my house. Do I need to update it? That's so weird. <laughs> I wonder if Endstone doesn't show up on maps. I need to verify this. Wait, there it is. I had to take it off the wall. So that updated it. Oh, that's cool. It even shades it. I also like that boat right there. That's pretty neat. So I guess you have to pop these off the wall for them to update. Yep, that one just updated. You can see it's changed a little bit. It's got the little beach ornaments there. You got the road. I like that and I don't like that. 
You could have like an old map and a new map. Yeah, so this little area opened up too. Okay, okay game. Alright, that's something good to know. At some point I have to fix that hole in the roof too. One of the, the stairs is not correct. Well, I've done my survey of the land. I have given you my humble beginnings on the server and the path forward. You have seen me stake out new areas, add some billboards, deliver some mail. Now we must wait. We must wait for the, the tenants to move in and we must wait for people to answer the summons that is the, the billboards. So I'm going to drop off my stuff, my handy little shulker box here. Oh, I forgot to deliver this one. I'll save him. I'll let him live. I'll let him live out here somewhere. And then later on I will scoop him up. I would put him in the fountain, but we have that other puffer fish in there. So for now, I'll let him live next to the docks. He can keep our ocean clean. Now if you, oh I just thought of another idea. I want to test this. This might get Shadow's attention. I think she sometimes monitors the uh, the server logs. If I grab a fish, if I grab this fish, give it a name, and then the axolotl kills said fish, will it have a message? <laughs> I must test this. That's a, a f that'd be a funny way of advertising. Because axolotls have like a kill cooldown, where after they've hunted a fish, they'll wait a little bit and then they'll hunt again later. So if I put an axolotl in a tank full of named fish, uh then every couple minutes or so it'll kill one and then the message will go out to come to the island has killed fish <laughs> oh that's perfect see we got ideas on ideas We'll name the fish Fun. Because it'll say, come to Foxtown Island, something something has killed Fun. <laughs> we'll just name a bunch of like really dumb ones. I hope this works. If this works, I'll be so excited. Because I can pick a time when they're all on and then just dump an axolotl in the, the tank and wait. <laughs> also, if I name the fish after a person, it'll look like it's killing people. That... <laughs> 
I need to find another. I need to rename this. That'd be a fun server log. All right, where are you where are you at, Axlon? Where'd you go? You have plenty of fish to to feast on over here. He should stay right around here. This is where I put him down. But maybe they don't. Maybe they don't do that anymore. I don't see him. Does anyone recall what color the axolotl was? Because I do not remember. Where did he go? Oh, there he is. Wait, 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 wait. Grab this one. Kill it. Oh, it doesn't work. Dang it. That would have been so cool. <laughs> It might say it in the chat log though. Like on the server. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I wasn't sure what to do with the island. I'd, I'd really like to see it thrive. But unfortunately, it's tougher to get people in than I originally thought. We got people hooked in pretty quick, and we sold some land. But they have not made use of said land yet. So it's not over yet. And it's, it's not, it's barely begun. I wish I had my spyglass, because I, I want to see if that's a, a beehive. I have some more planning to do and I need to gather a ton of more reasons for people to move in so we'll leave it off there uh, I'll catch you guys tomorrow for some sky bees and perhaps and perhaps we'll do some more bees on sky bees uh, painless won't be there uh, he has his college moving in to do. So it'll mostly be me working on the bees and hopefully making some progress. Uh, if you haven't already and you're watching this in the VOD, uh, follow me on Twitch. You can sub. You can find me on YouTube. You can find me on Discord. You can find me on Twitter. Or you can find me tomorrow. Catch you later. Enjoy your night.